Thank you, Mr. Chair, and thank you, Representative Duran and Representative Toledo, for bringing this bill forward. You know, this is a, a really well-meaning bill. Um, what was discussed before, which is actually at the top of my concern, uh, in, in addition to, obviously, the health consequences of tobacco use for young people. I say that as someone who was smoking when they were 16 years old. I smoked for many years. I decided to quit when I was 20, um, which some may argue may be the reason for why we should just let young people decide on their own. I would argue against that and say, actually, no, because the health risks are are, are so serious um, because the cost to the state is significant. Florida has the second highest cancer burden in the nation, and that doesn't come without cost. The average cost to treat a cancer patient uh, in Florida is $67,000. Um, Representative Fine made some really, really important points, and that's kind of where it begins to cross the line. Sometimes government does need to step in to manage the cost to taxpayers, and in this case, the cost of lung cancer and, and many other forms of cancer uh, is a reason reason for us to be able to step in uh, and try to have a say in this. Um, on the issue of medical cannabis, I, I don't think that these issues need to be intertwined. We're talking about raising the age to smoke tobacco, which has no health benefit whatsoever, um, with a medicine, which is smokable medical cannabis. Um, the American Cancer Society was here uh, and they told us, as well as many other organizations that are experts, will say that there is no direct link between uh, smokable cannabis and lung cancer. We may find out more, more research is necessary, but that research is simply not um, as compelling as it needs to be to justify putting that in there. It was also mentioned before that right now you would need to get a, a second doctor's um, approval uh, if you are 18, 19, or 20 to have smokable medical cannabis, but that doctor's a pediatrician. I know I didn't have a pediatrician when I was 18, 19, or 20 years old. So if these issues can be addressed, I hope that they're gonna be addressed on the floor. Right now, I'm voting yes, and I'm voting up on the bill because the, the public interest in making sure that we reduce the harm uh, to young people when it comes to smoking tobacco overwhelms my other concerns. And so I applaud you for bringing this forward and I urge my colleagues to vote yes.